This woman is carrying water to her house on the 8th floor of her building. You wonder how a recently constructed, fairly decent looking building does not have a lift. However, a lift is only the least of the problems faced by residents here. In several places, the pillars, beams, walls and stairs have crumbled. Sometimes all it needs is just a touch. The paint is also peeling off. Such conditions have made even the foundation questionable, raising serious concerns over safety. These flats were built by the Tamil Nadu Slum Clearance Board at Kesava Pillai Park, which is also known as KP Park in Pulyanthop, Chennai. It is a cluster of two buildings, one with 834 units and another with 1056 units. This was supposed to be a dream home for many who had lived their whole lives in slums and other unsafe living conditions. The builder has alleged that these buildings witnessed additional wear and tear when the AIADMK government utilized it as COVID care centers last year. After living in slums for many years, these people were allotted flats by TNSCB on the same site. They lived there for 25 years and as the building got old and unsafe, the residents were moved to temporary shelters on the same site in 2018. Meanwhile, new homes were being built. They lived in the temporary shelter for two years even without basic amenities. They put up with all the inconvenience in hopes of a better home. However, a government order issued in October 2020 by the Housing and Urban Development Department ground their dreams to the dust. The order demanded a beneficiary contribution of 1.5 lakh rupees to allot these residents their new homes. The residents claimed they were not informed of this when their homes were demolished. Some residents have now taken matters into their own hands and moved into the buildings without paying their beneficiary contribution. Women dragging carts with water pots and struggling to carry it up the stairs are a frequent scene on the premises. As the government has not authorized these houses yet, it has refrained from providing water supply. Adding to their woes, the lift is also non-functional. Senior citizens who have been allotted homes on top floors are living in parking space. Most residents have been pushed to feel they were better off living in the old, dilapidated homes. Parties like CPIM and MNM have demanded an inquiry into the poor construction and have slammed the previous government for constructing poor quality buildings at exorbitant rates. They have demanded that the building be raised down and the builder asked to reconstruct it with his own money. The builder has shifted the blame on the government for having left it unused for two years. The company which has constructed over 100 projects has sent a press release saying the incident has brought them bad repute. The current DMK government has assured these residents of support and solution at the earliest. Slum Clearance Board officials say they are exploring options to see if residents can be allotted homes without paying the 1.5 lakh as contribution. This should serve as an eye-opener for the DMK government as it goes ahead with its Singara Chennai initiative. Valuable public exchequer money cannot be wasted by ineffective governance. A federal report.